this is Ikea, a huge furniture store that makes even my local super Walmart look small. It's about four times the area, and what's more, there's more than one floor. Oh my goodness, is this place huge. Ikea, at least one of its entrances anyway. Big entrance sign here. Actually, I had to end up figuring out that scanner for the check self-checkout link. I figured that thing out real quick from nothing more than observations of actual cashiers using it. This is Ikea. I first went to the showroom area, having a hard time dodging mirrors and stuff along the way. Having to take all, pretty much the whole course in reverse just to get back because I was blocked by mirrors, but that's really no big deal. It's very common I get that. However, this right here is the front of the building, or at least from the upper deck. There's actually a garage below here, all these parking lot lines or any hint. And, well, this building is just so big it just boggled my mind. The first scene you saw was the underground area where you're actually going to the aisles and making payments and stuff. And, well, the upper area is where the showroom so you can actually see it. This has got to be the biggest furniture store I've ever seen. Up close, with my own eyes even. Besides TV and video. And it's Ikea. And interestingly enough, look what's over there. Mall of America. That is so close to that place that I'm otherwise going to be going to a little bit later on. Supposedly tomorrow, the Friday. A lot of traffic out in the metro area. A lot of cars, it's all common, even traffic lights right where the Mall of America is. In case you can't see that, I'll zoom in so you can see it better. Yep, that's basically what's been going on as far as this goes.